Starfish. So I just start holding it now. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. I can do it too. Oh, he just unbuttoned his jacket. Oh, you yeah, know, that actually doesn't look too bad. Yeah, he just took off his jacket. <laughs> it's always just taking You off. can do it between rounds, too. Oh, nice. So it's like, you can have your jacket on at the start, and then when it's final round, you take it off. So I honestly, I can't, I don't know what to feel about Cody. How does he feel? He's alright. Oh. Sorry, I've been i I've been I've been dealing with a lot of people who jump in like that. That's good though. You got the reflex for it. Well, cause I don't cause my uppercut because my DP is not actually a good anti-air. Oh shit. See? It just doesn't go up high enough. Not high enough, though. Yep, and it goes a bit, it, it scooches forward too. Which uh, is a bad combo. Look at that. This is. That happens every once in a while. It's not a consistent thing, don't worry. See, that's what I try to do to Guile, but it, timing that is a bitch. Putting my jacket on. This is too much. <laughs> You're putting your jacket on. <laughs> Shit. So is the uh, Hitler armband just a school? Let's just a Japanese school uniform thing. Yep, it, to indicate what club they're from. What club? Generally, yep. Yeah. Man, what is it with Japanese uh, schools and clubs? Generally, only like their upper club presidents can wear it. No, I just mean in general. Like, I noticed that it's a trope in a lot of animus. Yeah, I'm sure that once, I'm sure that once you uh, learn Cody, you're gonna be pretty good with him. But yeah, I, I think Cody is just another character I have to spend more time with playing online as well. Yeah. Um, because that's how I got to where I met with Abigail and a lot of characters. Just play a lot of online. Yeah, that's how I got to where I am with Ed. I was button matching and I accidentally ended with a cycle flurry. They do not want to let Ed get momentum.
you remember that unlike most projectiles, I, or maybe we like most projectiles, but Ed uses his Psycho Spark specifically to cover his approach. That's really good, because it has so many iframes, it's really good at punishing jump-ins. It can even punish Akuma's rage at demon. I know, which is... <laughs> it's His so... His reaction to that is like... <laughs> I was sitting there watching that. I, did, I, mean, I didn't watch you guys play, but when I rewatched it, I was like... Come on, Cameron, we've been through this. Because I did that to him, too, when I played it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, oh, oh my god, it, Manette's gets so fucking annoyed when it punishes their... Manette, like, wait, you annoy Manette with... Ed. Well, specifically because my, uh, because my critical art beats her critical art. Really? No, I did my critical art, and then in response, she did hers, and she got fucking wrecked. Now, all other times... Manette is annoying as hell because you know. What should I do? Super? Raw super? He, you should have done a raw super. You could have chipped me out. Or uh, uppercut. I was like, you should have, you should have, You should have done the super, dude. Remember, I can absolutely beat out single, proje single hit projectiles. Learn to punish me from those, man. No, I need his style. Okay. You're making him feel all emo. <laughs> Stash, be edgy, man. That's not being evil. One more, and then I'll probably switch it up too. Look, if you want to punish the uh, Psycho Knuckle, what you do is block, uh, uh, get ready to hit the uh, counter grab button if you see it coming, if you if you see the gr animation start, and then punish me after I, and then punish me after I do my uh, my my knee jab. Unless you have a three, unless you have a two frame frame jab, you've got to wait. Or a three frame jab, actually. Do you have, does Nash have a three frame jab? Crouching oh, kick. Alright, because that might, because I have a two frame disadvantage on uh, block with second knuckle. Yeah, and but. my fastest uh, jab is three frame. Yeah, the problem with Nash is it's got really tight timing to follow up after that jab. 
if I'm gonna combo off him. Well, that's not, that's not, the, you're not trying to combo, you're trying to punish me for whiffing a Psycho. For whiffing a Psycho Knuckle. Because if you don't punish me, then I basically just, you basically reward me for screwing up. Because Psycho Knuckle, because a whiff, because a Oh blocked, my god, I dropped it! Because a blocked Psycho Knuckle is, you have to realize, is just a way for me to close the gap without having to try. Oh, I'm getting too jumpy. Now you're making me jumpy. Ooh, those iframes, though. Oh, come on, Nash. Nope, I'm not supposed to follow up. But, oh, what did I? Jump. What am I saying, dude? I've got. I I I. You have to hit me within five frames, or else it. Other, or else you have to block. Those are your options. God. <laughs> I had no idea that could beat out critical yeah. arts. I assumed it had iframes. Does it does does his critical art not have iframes? I guess not. It's just really fast. I just assumed it had iframes. I'm Me, Capcom. To be fair, that would have happened with any EX Shoryuken. 